So really nice short game, folks. Okay, there's the Sammy. Left hip bone and pinky finger. Okay, the reason I invented it, George Newton gave us a piece of string back in the day. Okay, we put it behind her belt and we gripped it. So there's the string. And then all we did was make follow throughs. So we did this, started with no backswing, rotated onto a left heel from a narrow stance and did this. Because the problem we saw with a lot of folks hitting pitch shots was these arms chasing off the body. Okay, so now as you watch this swing, naturally in a backswing, you're gonna need to have develop a little energy. The string's gonna pull out of the badrill some, but watch the handle. So here's my narrow stance, hitting a little pitch shot, okay? That as, I'm, as the club moves back up and in a little bit, down, out, and forward, can you see how this relationship of the butt of the golf club and the handle is pretty close? Right? Did, did my handle race off my body toward a target? It didn't, did it? Okay, so as I give you a couple different views, so again, there's a narrow stance. My upper center is on top of the ball. My button's on my shirt. Now I need, the club head's gonna do most of this work. How far is the handle from my hip bone? Pretty close, okay? And I'm not trying to artificially stuff it there, but George's lesson was just to kind of learn how to go from this forward bend Here's my forward bend to a ball. So stick your booty out, Karen. Bent, there you go. To this position of rotated, relocated, kind of tall. Okay? So what you're going to realize in a second, Karen, is you have a lot of this in your short game stuff, okay? And you're going to learn how to rotate and extend yourself a little bit, which is going to really help your long game too, okay? So now as I do that over the smart bag, and it's Jack's turn here, no pressure, Jack. Right? So as you stand in here, and I don't know if it'll do as well as, as Peter did, so this helps with the back up and in piece because now we can see that the club doesn't go straight around us, does it? It doesn't go straight back off this plane, so to speak. And as we collect the ball on the through swing, okay, that's, you can see the relationship of, and that was the intent on this because my daughter had this cute outfit her grandma sent her and it came with a bedazzled badge reel with a chapstick. And she said, look at that, dad. And I, that's pretty cool. And she did this, she said, you can make a golf thing out of that. And she ran off and I'm like, I could, and I did. Your turn, Jack. Yeah, she, exactly. She gets it all anyway. Absolutely. She's so funny. She says, yeah, I have a golf invention. I don't even golf. Yeah. So show me, bud. Yeah. Lovely, okay, really nice. So I'll steady this thing, there we go. Okay, do another. A little, little more energy, right, than you needed, okay. Now, don't even make a backswing, stay right there with me, okay. Now, just ready, kind of rotate, stand up, stand up, stand up, stand up, good. There's my old Newton drill with the string here to here. Right now, in a backswing, naturally, you need a little something, right, so that you can add some energy, rotate, rotate, stand up. So you feel how that's nice and close? That's one of the things you can have some fun with with your Sammy. You know, that was the original reason I made it. Good. The club head's doing the work. The hands are generally peaceful. An inner circle versus an outer, outer circle. Okay, you look awesome. You get out of there. Perfect. Give me some knuckles. Karen, come on, dear. This goes long, right long. Okay. So another thing, you guys, I'm going to share, and everybody's, I was guilty of this. You want to hit really good pitch shots? Keep your club face clean, okay? Grooves, and all you need is a wet towel, because you want the metal between the grooves sticky. You don't just want clean grooves. That's what's really going to help grip the ball, okay? So it stays on the green. Clean golf face, okay. So let's see how you do, my dear. Hold your finish irregardless of how you hit it. Okay, don't move. So a little blady, right? Yeah. But see the distance that Get everything's, down. no, no, but don't just suck your elbows in, right? So see how long things are off your body? Yeah. Okay. And that's what we're gonna work on because if I set this back down here, so just get your good hands on there and grip it. So that left hand grip, what are we doing? We're getting, that's, come on now. You got this suitcase hole, girl. Go you you know how, you, the... you're always gonna do that unless you putt, then okay. we'll change, okay? So set that club there, get organized. Perfect, okay? 
Now I'm not going to give you a backswing. All I'm going to do is take you into a through swing. Ready? You're going to rotate, rotate, stand up, stand up, stand up, stand up, stand up. At a girl, do it again. Stand up, stand up. Ready? Rotate, stand up, stand up, stand up, stand up. Now see how close this is to your hip bone. We're not, oh, we're not in this forward bent stretchy look. See the difference? Okay, standing up, it seems. So to see be. how? Yeah. So just go from here and stand up. Good. That's extension of a body. So as you move the golf club and collect the ball, you stand up, stand up, stand up, stand up, stand up. There you go. That's what gets the club away from the earth, not you staying in forward flex and lifting the club off the earth. Make sense? It does. Totally okay. Sense. Good. 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 Let me try one with that. So stand up, stand up, stand up. Okay, it's still kind of reach you with the arms, but that's because you've got a lot of your old habits, right? And we'll put one of these on you and we'll work with you with it, okay? a girl. Good stuff.